the web is, is changing, it's becoming more AI based, you're seeing more websites have AI based support. And this has just opened up like so much possibility on, on different things that can be built. And it's just, yeah, so exciting. My name is Zach Santa. I love building cool stuff. I love new technology. I've always been fascinated by technology. And in the last year or so, um, I started an AI and automation uh, business with a, with a new partner, providing as much value as we can. We're always looking to, to really have a net positive um, with what we're doing. The biggest impact that we that we produce or like the biggest um, feedback that we get from clients is just saving time and looking at hey like in, in applications how can we use AI to, to, to better our product and to, um, really create something unique so there's definitely a ton of crossover and um, what I'm seeing more of is like AI doing more instead of just like the chat like being baked into to apps on like the custom interface side and actually using that to to talk to other apps and provide that like further functionality um, rather than just having like um, an AI chat, like a support based thing. What else can we do to actually better this experience and, and make things easier for, um, for, the, for the user as well? Like if you can give the user like less clicks that they need to make to get to their action and it's, it's just a better user experience. We chose VoiceFlow because like, quite frankly, it just seemed like the most stable platform out there. And we've not been proved wrong in like the last year and a half or so that we've been using it. It just worked, the tool worked. It wasn't full of bugs or something like new to market. It had been around before the AI era and then it made the transition into there. So it's more just the st stability behind it that really drew us to it. And also the pretty extensive APIs as well. It just feels like a, enterprise product. Yeah, and I love how seamlessly VoiceFlow works with Webflow. So it's been cool to um, marry up the two platforms together. And like they both got Flow in their name and we're client Flow as well. So um, wasn't planned, but it kind of feels like it was meant to be and but couldn't be happier really. And um, yeah, really pleased with our tech stack that we have. We've built most of our custom interfaces in Webflow, and it means that we have full creative license to do whatever we want. We can use um, custom actions inside of VoiceFlow to essentially prompt different elements that we designed inside of Webflow to come up, and then even fill those elements with different variables from VoiceFlow. If I just open up this chat widget, and this is completely custom um, to Webflow, um, and again, I can click book an appointment, and I've got a custom element already in Webflow and we're just triggering to, to go ahead and pull that up so people can quickly book an appointment inside of that chat and just enables them to do more. And this is a form I designed in Webflow and we're just triggering it to assign itself to the chat window when that button is clicked or it could be through an intent as well. This chat is just super basic for, for demo purposes. This is what I mean by chat, just having more functionality, being able to do more um, without someone having to go to the portfolio and then browse through, they can get what they need inside that chat experience and be directed to um, areas on the site if needs be. And I can click and change any element here or add stuff that I want to always appear at the top. But then also what I've got down here, um, so I can go ahead and pull this chat call back, add it to the chat window, just to this one here. And I can go ahead and edit this form or any other element I can design in Webflow and you can pretty much build anything in Webflow. I can put it as um, put it inside a div, inside a section, and then use custom actions on VoiceFlow to go ahead and prompt that to show and um, kind of add itself to the chat window um, when the time is right. If I kind of show you, it's a simple case of creating a script. We've got like a ton of functions for different things. Most of this was written with ChatGPT. So <laughs> you can literally go on and train ChatGPT on the VoiceFlow docs because they're that good. And then it can go ahead and write all the code that you need for you. So over the last year or so, we've been building some really, really cool products. Right now, we're starting to experiment with a little bit of like a hybrid model where um, we have like AI prompts throughout the website to go ahead and prompt like, oh, hey, do you want to learn more about this with AI? Or like, you've got a question that can direct them to that chat widget. Um, and it's basically like an assistant throughout the site. I see that continuing to grow that way. But then future 10 years down the line, I don't know, like if it's just literally more of an app experience and people can just like ask what they want or click buttons and they're not needing to 
navigate to different sections of the website or kind of try and find what they need. They just instantly get the answers. Um, but right now, I think it's, it's wise to, to kind of have a, a hybrid model of the two. So again, my name is Zach Santa. You can find out more about what we're doing um, at South Digital. The, I think the link will be in the description and also ClientFlow as well. Um, at ClientFlow, we predominantly work with mortgage brokers, but if you have a really cool proposition for us outside of that space and it's a new build, something we can get really excited about, then we're open to it. We have a few clients that we do that for, but it's pretty bespoke. But yeah, on South Digital as well, like if you're interested in how you can better use AI in your website or looking for a complete website overhaul, just some general help, do feel free to get in touch as well.